folks, this is Lauren Hunt with a review for the Guitar Podcast. I'm reviewing the D'Addario EXP Coated Phosphor Bronze Strings. I've talked about coated strings before and have my dislike for them in the past. Uh, mainly the elixirs that were all coated. It felt like there was, you know, like, uh, like a, a cling wrap over the top of them and then they would um, they'd wear down and get all fuzzy and stuff and I wouldn't like it. Anyway, I didn't really like the feel of them and didn't really care much for the tone of them anyway, so I would usually just cut them off uh, the, when, I, when I've got a new guitar. And um, my typical guitar string for acoustic is a Martin Acoustic SPs. That's the light 12 through 54. That's what I usually use, but I thought I would try out these uh, these coated strings from Diodario, I like the Diodario uh, electric strings. You can see from this photo that really you don't see the coating. The coating is really super fine. You don't even notice it when you're playing the guitar. Well, I don't notice it when I'm playing the guitar. And it's almost like they're just a normal set of strings, which is really cool. And uh, so you should get longer life and cleaner strings. I mean, I'd still want to clean these strings um, when I'm done playing and maybe lube them up or whatever with, with some fast fret. But the nice thing is they feel like normal strings. So what do we really care about strings? We care about the tone, right? So uh, we talked about some some picks in up upcoming episodes of where I'm going to talk about, do reviews of, of different picks. And uh, you know Fender Medium is basically my standard pick. So I'll just uh, use that for this demo. Uh, and review of these strings by D'Addario, uh, the XP coated phosphor bronze strings. You know they, they feel pretty good. Now you know Taylor's. This is a Taylor acoustic guitar from 1999. It's warmed up over the years, and the Taylor's typically have kind of a brighter tone, but. Uh, this one has warmed up a bit, and I, I like the uh, have always liked the Martin SPs because of their warmer tone. They don't really have a real bright cutting sound. But something I'm noticing is that these strings have a bright tone. So they sound kind of bright. I'm going to do a little bit of finger picking here. Might be nice for finger picking because of their brightness and the, you know usually the warm tactile feel of a finger picking uh, a finger pick song. Okay, so you get the picture. I think these strings sound kind of bright. I'm going to use a thicker pick, very thick, nice rounded edge, which should uh, project more but still have kind of a warm tone. Let's see the difference here. Back to the fender pick. So, I'd say that the tone isn't bad. It's a little brighter than what I'm really used to, but, um, I guess the true thing is to see how long these last. So I put these on uh, the beginning of May and started playing. Let's see how long they last before they start sounding dull. 
um, as bright as they are, I'm really kind of uncomfortable with them. Um, so my initial response would be, cut them off, cut them off, and put my regular ones on. Ah! But I'm not going to do that. Um, for the sake of the podcast, and um, to keep this keep this true, is to I want to see how long these sound. You know, maybe a month from now, two months from now, see how long they last. Uh, I'm imagining there's, they should last, you know, two to three times as long as as um, as my favorite, you know, uncoated strings. Now, uh, maybe, hopefully as they get older, they might start, as they dull, they might get a warmer tone, but uh, and they're, not, they're not too bad. You may really like this, and that's great. That, that's the whole thing, that's the whole purpose of this, so that you can hear it and check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, this is Lauren Hunt signing off for the Guitar Podcast.